see in front of you is the effect of the PYDV. It manifests itself as, as yellowing. That ultimately turns into this, this, this perfume blush and stunting. So although it's trades as an acronym, BYDV, it actually stands for Barley Yellow Dwarf Virus. The issue with this disease is affected by aphids. There are particular aphids that carry the virus and through direct feeding they transmit the virus into the growing crop. Ultimately, it manifests itself as the symptoms that you see in front of you. In terms of the effect to UK agriculture, this was assessed by the HGCA in 2013 and they estimated that 82% of the UK wheat area is in jeopardy from this disease. With regard to the um, economic impact, it can affect your crop if left untreated from somewhere between 2 to 60%, the average being 8%. So at stake is 8% of your wheat yield from having inadequate control of BYDV. Means of control, historically we had the neonicotinoid seed treatments which were very effective, but we've since lost them in, in 2019. So all we have available now are pyrethroid sprays and they're not without issues. So some of the aphid vectors have got known and proven resistance to the effects of the chemistry. And you have to make multiple applications depending on the weather and your sowing date. One, because of the nature of the chemistry itself, because it's not photostable. And also because you get multiple hatches of the aphids. So you need to take out the subsequent progeny as they occur through the crop. So you're making multiple applications of a chemical that has the implications of resistance in the background of, of your target pest and also the non-discriminatory with the effects on beneficiaries. There is now another means of control, a genetic solution that we call Gensrus. So Gensrus varieties now offer a genetic resistance to the effects of barley yellow dwarf virus. Resistance to BYDV is not naturally occurring on the wheat genome. This was actually found originally in a wild ancestor of winter wheat and over a period of about two decades that has been backcrossed into what now represents itself as a very typical UK domestic winter wheat. So Gensrus varieties work by stopping the replication of the virus once it's transmitted from the aphid. So the aphid will still come and still um, directly feed on the variety, but then the genetic mechanism um, kicks in once the inoculum is present to stop it replicating and creating some of the symptoms like you see to my left. So in front of you is a resistant variety and a non-resistant variety. So what that manifests itself is ultimately is no clinical symptoms to the effect of barley yellow dwarf virus and then ultimately no yield loss in the in the situation where you're choosing not to use insecticidal control.